Hey guys, James here, back with another video. So today I've got the unboxing of the Corsair 230T um, ATX case. It's uh, it's the graphite series. Um, it's black, black in color, and there's two red fans on the front. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much a mid tower PC case. Yeah, so this is the first unboxing um, that I'll be doing uh, for this build. So let's just get straight into it, and we'll see uh, what's inside. Okay, so just like my sister's build, I'll probably have to get this out somehow, so bear with me. Right. Now because this is a lighter case, it's a bit easier to take out than, than the last one um, for my sister's build. It's definitely a lot lighter. Okay. So, Pretty much all you get. Um, loose is the manual and you know, quick start guide, all that stuff, normal. Looking at the front, you can already see the um, the the fan. So you have two USB ports um, at the top. You've got um, headphone jack. I'll see if I can show you. They've got little logos. So two US two USB 3.0 ports, headphone jack, microphone, reset, power button. You have three five and a quarter inch uh, bays, and you also have the two um, two fans at the bottom. And then of course you've got that uh, beautiful Corsair logo. Um, let's see. Okay. So moving on to the top side. <coughs> So the top side has <coughs> um, slots for 120 as well as 140. So it's slightly off center. See how it's kind of pushed to this side. It comes with uh, rubber grommets, so that's really nice. Um, that's really uh, cool how they did that. I'll give you a closer look at that. So as you can see, uh, the rubber pre pre-installed fan rubber anti-vibration hole things. <laughs> Then um, on the sides, pretty standard. There's nothing, nothing much to see on this side as well as the opposite side. This is a no window case, so there's no window here. And then at the back, okay, at the back, you'll see um, it's, that's a 120 millimeter uh, fan that's pre-installed there already. You've got the IO out where the shield plate will go. You have eight expansion, sorry, no, excuse me, seven expansion slots and then your PSU slot as well. So let's just open this case up and see what you get inside in terms of cable management. So looks like it's just two screws at the back. It's a bit unusual, just two screws. And I'm assuming, try to find out which way. So they go out this way. So they go forward instead of backwards like some cases. So that's an interesting feature. Okay, so turning it around, inside has a toolbox, so we'll get that out. All right, so in this toolbox, let's find out what we get. All right, so, so you get a bunch of uh, zip ties with that. You also get um, screws and more screws. So just pre-bags of screws, it's standard. So that comes in the box. Very different from the Fantex. Obviously the Fantex is all pre-packaged in another box, a nice box. So here you can see you've got slot for SSD uh, mounting, um, which I'm assuming goes here. You've got slots for hard drive mounting, it's tallest design. As you can see there, the two fans, uh, obviously the red. Um, you've got a bunch of cables, the five and a quarter inch. Motherboard standoffs are pre-installed. You've got the fan cable there and turning it around. So none of these are rubberized by the way. So it's a bit disappointing, especially from Corsair. I would expect at least rubber. Um, and that's pretty much it. Not much cable management area to move. Um, it is quite small, so it, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It's a cheap case. 
cheaper case so you do get what you pay for and then of course the two fan uh, outputs for here which will probably connect to the motherboard um, so yeah pretty much it oh actually one more thing I want to see if these panels are interchangeable so I think there's no correct uh, size side not size side so I'm pretty sure you can just mount both of them on either side um, so yeah that's it for this video uh, like it if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments about this particular case or um, yeah anything about anything really um, <laughs> Yeah, so if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Still more to come, and I'll see you guys in the next one.